I can't understand why that's there. I don't get it. But let's see. Do be do 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 do. Oh, it's me there. I wonder what that was then. <laughs> do be do be do. Oh dear, it's lovely. Hello, good morning, everybody. How is it? Uh, how, uh, how are you diddling? How are you floating? Not sure what I really want to do today, but I know I want to do something because I've got like four show, four full days of shows um, on the craft store. So yeah, it's gonna be um, gonna be. It's going to be different anyway. It's going to be different because it's it's quite full on. So it's a case of managing myself over time to to get sort of how can I put it? Not not um. Oh, I can't remember, I can't think what the word is. Like not overdo it. You know, pace, pace myself. That's what I wanted to say. Pace my blooming self, and it's quite easy to uh, sort of do that. So I thought I'd just get some little, some, some use some of my templates because this would make it a whole lot easier for me to just get going. Because at the moment, like I say, I'm a little bit um, up in the air and. Sort of trying to get busy, get everything done for the next few days, which is showtime. So I've got a piece of watercolour paper that I'm not too worried about, and I'm just going to do what I normally do, get my circles, and I'm just going to go for it. Oh, that was a bit dodgy, that one. Um, this is how do do Moodle Doodling came about for me. It was a case of just wanted to take time, decoration, pattern, and, and just real um, emphasis on taking time out and not allowing yourself to be uh, continually sort of driven by the bell so quite like the idea of splitting it up with these little dissecty things here they're not dissecty things they're called circles so yeah I've just had a nice little message from Diane Reaver saying you know, sorry that we didn't get to see each other last weekend you know she's one of my idols don't you I've known her for a long, long time, and uh, I've always been upfront about everything that she's uh, inspired me with. I also remember going to um, the show. It was in Yorkshire, good old Yorkshire, and it was. Um, hey, I've got my, my things back. Yes, get in. How did that happen? Oh, hi Marjorie, hi Stacey, hi Kim, hi Linda, hi Sue, hi Denise, hi Jan, hello Dave, Stacey, Orsa, I think that's right, I hope so, hi Rachel, hi Louise, hi Stacey, hi Emma, Sylvia, Oh yes, Colin's birthday. Colin's birthday. Yep, yep, hooray. Yeah, so anyway, um yeah, it was nice. I I went and saw it at um this 
showground it was called years ago years and years ago and i remember walking around and i just stumbled across art from the art and i was just i just stood there and i went what oh my word and i remember there was a young man stood there and i just says to him i says can i take pictures and he said well no we'd, we'd rather you didn't and i was like no no problem at all and that was my love affair started with Diane Reedley. No, I don't mean that. With with the work, I just fell in love with everything. And it was then that I was like, right, okay. So I introduced the kids to some of her stuff. And then we magic, and eventually we got it put on the um, our uh, exam, GCSE exam. I remember writing the paper for it, thinking, what will they say? And you know, you know, doing it for the class. Because you have to write, you get the exam questions and then you're, you're responsible for taking that exam question and making it fit. So I had to make Diane's work fit, which wasn't hard. And that was the rest, as they say, is history. So yeah, hi Sally. Hi Liz. So yeah, it was, um, it was brilliant to see you there. But she was on both as well, wasn't she? So win-win win-win so here i've just gone mad with circles now i've changed the settings on this to bright i know it is but i've not been terribly heavy handed with my pen but i had to change it to bright because i was sick of having my cur sh curtain shut it was like murky manor curtain shut and then like not being able to to sort of draw properly and i just thought all right i've just changed my settings so I'm going to go everything over everything in black. Now, yes, I know you, um, some of you, a lot of you thought I'd be busy today. But as I said, and I always forget what I say anyway, don't I? Today is probably the last time I'm going to be able to see you for a few days now. So I'll see you. I won't see you tomorrow. Uh, I won't see you. I've got a, a one day special today and tomorrow. So... Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's it's quite a long while. So it'll probably be Wednesday now, but I'll put a big hoo-ha in the group and stuff to to let people know. Oh, I'll do those first. Yeah, so yeah, I'll be um, now. This is when I'll have to change it slightly because I don't actually know what holes are made with this. Um, what old circles I mean. Yeah, so I'll be putting um, a notification in everywhere. So I'm telling you when I'm back on, but it'll probably be Wednesday now um, when I can get next back on, which will please mark no end because that means it doesn't have to sort of pussyfoot about. Um, so anyway, how the devils are you? Hope you're all okay. I'm um, just sat here thinking, what am I doing here? No, not here, but I don't even know where I put these holes. Where are they? What holes are they? They're there. Must be. Um, yeah, so. Just get your stencils out. I had a nice little chat with Valerie yesterday. Um, who was confident about stuff and she needs to get a bit of a, a spark going. So I drew her a little piece and she's done it. It's great stuff. So it's good to see that. Um, yeah. It, you do need a spark sometimes or a kick up the ball. And I know people say, well, you shouldn't say that. Well, because if people have got mental health, just because they've got mental health issues doesn't, well, personally, in my experience, I need a good kick up the bum sometimes. I know Rachel gave it, gave me the, metaphorically speaking, the kick up the bum, which I really needed. Um, I probably wouldn't have been sat here doing this on Facebook if I hadn't been for her and uh, telling me to get my head round it and it was, it was uh, so yeah, we do need to kick up the bum but um, yeah 
it's uh, Mental Health Month for the UK, Mental Health UK, which I'm hugely uh, supportive of. Um, I'm hoping that I can get involved with it because I'd love to offer some sort of help in any way I can um, and support. It's a massive, massively important um, subject that people find one difficult to discuss and two embarrassing. You know, this idea of allowing people to know. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. And then Cassius just said something about not telling people too much about yourselves. Yeah, I've got to learn to keep my mouth shut a bit more. Because, you know, if you're trusting, you think, oh, they're your friends. Next minute, boom, you're not. You're blocked, you're useless anymore now because, you, you know, you've had your use time. So I've got through, but it, it, like I say, I'm trying to use Facebook now for all the positive reasons and not the negatives and learn from people who've told me, you know, and quite rightly, they've got every right to turn around and say, told you so, so look, yeah, no matter how old you are, we all do that, don't we, you know, oh, with hindsight, it's a great thing, but sack it you can't do out about that so you go you have to do what you can and that's like work with what you've got so i can't change anything but i can i can't change anything past but i can change it in the future so i went out this morning yeah went out got the car went out myself and i went out and i got myself a good pencil sharpener um it wasn't that dear actually that and Rizwana, the lovely Rizwana, gave me a birthday present, not last, not this year, last year. And I, 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 I found it, because I've not been out, so I didn't find it. So I went and bought, bought these, so Rizwana, thank you. I went and got, the day when I got the little portable one, and I got two pencils, and these are my burnishing and blenders, and a white polychromo. And what else did I get? Totions? New ones. I've got the ones for the show, but I always like spares. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. So I'm not using that one. I'm using the other one. So, um, yeah. I thought I'd uh, show you what I was doing. All right. Just using the end. Oh, hey. Get in. Oh, I see that. Is that for grabbing it? Oh, it is. Right. Favorite bit watercolour paper so I'm going to get some come on this is ridiculous come on now I'm not... is that mate or mapped or moped I don't know it's one of them anyway so because I know you're laughing saying well what are you telling us that for because I get asked all the time what rubber are you using what are you using and it really gets to me that because I think if I tell you, you're going to have to think you're going to have to go out and get it. Don't. Use your 10 pence rubber that your kids have got or your grandkids. Don't don't be messing about trying to get everything I get because it's not, that's not what it's about. Get yourself a cheap makeup brush though, that's good. Yeah, sharpening a knife, Sylvia, with a pen is very good. Um, get a good sharp and... But I couldn't, I couldn't, I wanted to show them at school how to do that, but at 11 and to 15, 16 year olds with a pen knife or a Stanley blade. I don't mind like the older ones, but the younger ones are, no, just the thought of it makes me feel sick now. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be using some of these blending pencils tonight. Now the, the blending pencils I've got won't be ones that I've got on the show, but it's just to, to give you an idea. That is a good click. Good click that in it. Janie! Oh, Janie, Janie, Janie. I was chatting to her the other night. Do you know what Janie didn't know? What, didn't know what the, the dancers were. Up the dancers. 
up the dancers, up the molly dancers. Does nobody else know that, or is it just me? I know it. I know Liz knows what up the dancers means. Oh, hey, someone's clinging, dinging. Oh, I love Jane. Eh? She's lovely. Got to make a book with her stand yet. So I've got my doofers in. I think I need some squares. I do. I need some square. I'm going to make this a really strange one where I'm just. Oh, I know what I can do with this. I'll do this tonight as well because I'll do a couple of these tonight and you know for colouring in and then I'll do patterns so that people can have the patterns on the show. Um but yeah what we could do is change patterns of it. So oh, I'm liking that. What I'm doing is, I'm thinking, do you remember when you was a kid and you couldn't have colours next to each other? So if you did this blue, that would have to be green. Yeah? So then that would have to be blue. Do you get me? If you don't, don't worry. Up the wooden hill. Now I don't know that one. Pencils are good. Rachel Harris, you're chomping at the bit. You've got everything. Very clever lady is our Rachel. And have you seen it? Sneaky peeks. What's happening with our lovely uh, Liz? Called a Wiz. Wiz Leela. That's not very good, is it? Her name's Liz Wheeler, not, not the other way around. Yeah, she's got a stamp. Not saying anymore. I don't even know if I'm... <gasps> Are we allowed to say that yet? Oh, sugar. I did. Oh no. I know she's got sneaky peeps, but. Oh, I hope I'm not in trouble now. Oh, I'm not saying anymore on the grounds that I might take the Fifth Amendment and create havoc or whatever it is. American people say. And they don't want to talk. Taking the 12th Avenue or something. Right. I've got lots of squares on there now. I'm loving this. This is abstract. Right. Had a sneak leak. Who's had a sneaky leak? What are you talking about, Sue? Sneaky Pete. Not a sneaky leak. Sue Russell, get what you like. You've got you you you've been watching me too much listening to my verbal diary you've got a wivism there a lewism a lou wivism can't say my name yes peak not leak oh mind you you could say leak couldn't you but not the leak i'm thinking of not that sort of leak when i saw that it's just my mind went to the other sort of leak where you need a Control panel or something. Right, shut up with this. Right, okay. I'm going to put some doodles in. I like this as it is, don't you? Yes, she has. She has come up with very in, 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 innovative. We didn't hear anything. All right, okay, okay. Right, okay. Dancing here. I'm dancing like no one's watching. Story of my life. Right, I think we could put lots of colour on this, but abstraction's really cool. So if you look at I want you to look at the artist formerly known as No, I'm joking here. Let me get this. Now his name is the Wallacey Kandinsky, okay. Um, oh, I've just had the other one in my head. Oh, yeah. Now, there's two, Sonia. Sonia Delaney and her husband Delaney as well. Sonia Delaney gets overlooked. But yeah, Wallacey Kandinsky. Oh. Or Sonia Delaney. 
and you'll find very inspirational work like this. Um, you need um, Bridget Riley for Op Art. And please have a look at this if you're interested in um, collage and mixed media. Um, and there's the one and only Sir Peter Blake. Now there's thousands of artists out there, but these are just some. This is collage. This is this is all quite similar in the fact that op art means optical illusion. So it's about making things look like they dance. I mean, you could look at Jackson Pollock there um, because his, his piece music, you can clearly see with the, the dribs and, and, and drips. I'd love to do a series on, on art and, and connections. I'd love to do that. I think that I'd love to do that where you go, hello, Glynis. Yes, I am. Hi, Linda. Um, I am Rachel going to use some at the moment we're going to use a mixture we're going to use pencils and watercolours together because I think people don't realise how, how good a, a mix that is so and what I'm going to do is just in these little pieces here I'm just going to put some little anywhere that there's crossing you know a bit of crossing over I'm just going to put a sneaky design in a very simple one, nothing untoward or, oh, that'll do, could do that. There we go. That looks a bit well if I, never mind. Put a line on it. There we go. I'm using a fat pen, you see. Not a fat pen, it's, there's no wrong with pen, whether it's fat or thin, it's just I'm using the, the, um, the, the, the nozzle is a bit thick. The snozzle is a bit thick. I'm using a three now, so the snozzle's not so thick. Um, that's a bit better. Can you see it's not allowing me to go over the line? So what I'll do is I'll just make a few minor adjustments so that that wobbly line appears on a few more of them. And then that way it won't look like I've just made a cod's wallet. Cod's wallet! I know what it means. Apparently it's swearing. No, it's how can Cod's wallop be swearing? I don't get that. Never mind. Here I'm just gonna go dot dash dot dash. Where uh, in Manchester I was driving the other day um, and I have to go past the universities. Um, it's a wonderful place. It's all under construction now. And then um, go past the wonderful Alan Turing building and uh, City's Ground, the Etihad, is on our Alan Turing Way. And it never ceases to amaze me how much he did for us. Now he got betrayed the way he did, or because of his uh, his life, and how he chose to be, how he chose to be, try and be and, and live properly, truthfully to himself. You know, it was just horrific. But there again, days are very different now. I, I'm just. Think like that. But yeah, Alan Turing and the new building look amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I can't wait if, if I can get in at some point to the graphite, graphene, graphene building. I'd love to see inside that. It's all multi, multi, multi million, zillion dollars, uh, dollars, pounds worth of, you know, equipment and stuff. I know they're moving in soon. I can't say why. I know because I'd have to, it's top secret. But um, yeah, I'm, go I'm going to get the chance to hopefully go and have a quick look round. But yeah, it's such 
amazing things what they do there it's very um sort of it, it i need to say it's really important such an important place but what you don't see is all the hard work that goes on in the background for all these wonderful experiments to happen you know people have to make these things for the experiments like graphene and stuff you know and these students and everything and it's great to see that manchester you miss owens park all these universities as well as different names now are getting back up to speed because um, the groundbreaking groundbreaking but yeah and i was watching a program yesterday on the telly obviously um and they said that they'd sent um to get through the blockades during the american revolution um that they sent these ships through the blockades um, and some of them got through and they were named as um, Manchester Goods and I looked up the words Manchester Goods and it was all to do with the, the revolution so it was all to do with uh, cotton and spinning and all the things and even mechanical stuff and it was really interesting so why am I saying all that well it just shows you how interesting and the heritage in, heritage in Manchester and the universities now are groundbreaking there. Yeah. I was very privileged to go to uh, the NMU, one of the top in the country for my postgrad. So very, very happy. It's a, an, an amazing teaching place. So there we've got some little dots and dashes and I'm just being quite mindful about what I'm doing. Um, right, Codswallop. Rachel's just sent me something about Codswallop. Now, it may go off the screen, but I'm open to it. Codswallop. Unknown, attested, uh, Hancock's half hour. Oh, right, I thought it was older than that. Cod is a joke or imitation. Wallop is beer. Eh? Right. So it's joke beer. Imitation beer. Oh! Oh, it means testicle. Oh, right, it was, oh, wallet means hit. Cod is testicle, so it's hit with a testicle bag. Oh, right, well, maybe I shouldn't be saying that then, eh? Maybe, maybe that's not right. I don't mind the word crap. I don't say it a lot because obviously it all depends on people's like where they draw the line with swearing but yeah codswallop hit him with a testicle bag I think that could be quite offensive so here I'm just doing like why am I drawing these things then I think that's because I'm just talking about codswallops right so a bit of a sort of pleaty thing and I might do repeat that because what I think is it really does work to have you know sections or sort of parameters and and being able to just draw off the page is so much easier it really is easier doing it like that um yeah a lot of people i know some people like to listen to me and all the others like to turn the sound off and yeah that's that's even better if you want to turn the sound down 
that's even better you choose what you want to do uh, I don't have a choice so when I want to sit, turn the sound down on some people I'm afraid I can't right you've also, also it amazes me how people take the time and the effort to call other people on Facebook and all they've got to do is turn the damn thing off I just lag them off, just turn it off. Right, okay, so I've got nice little, like, interesting bits and bobs, and, and, and you can look for interesting shapes. So, I've taken my time there to see if it looks any better, and I don't think it does. Look, so now I'll do one a bit faster. It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. I don't know if I like them. I might colour them in. Right, I'm going to colour them in because I don't like them. I'm going to put me um, hereby known as a codswallop design. I don't want to do more than that because if I do more than that it looks like a flower and I don't want it to look like a flower I don't want it to be representational I want it to be just random mark because this is a, this is a very much oh yes it would Jane do you know what I don't want it to be representational I want it to be just mark making I mean, it's just random marks that well, not ra well, they are random. You're trying to make it random, and that's the difficult part. But shapes that you don't need to say, oh, that's supposed to be a flower. Well, well no, it's not. You know, and, and then not too many so that the colour will be part of it. And if you look at Delaney's work, you'll see, or Delaney, whichever, tomato, tomato, that is predominantly, you know, Mark, Rock Mark Rothfogel, you know, it's black work. You, you have to see it up real and personal and it is there's so many different blacks and it's untrue you don't have to like it no one says you have to like it you just have to maybe read about it i've said this before and understand why they're doing it or the reasoning you don't don't mean that you have to love it it just means there's a reason for them doing this you know it's not always pointless told you before about my mum and the uh, the clothes and stuff took me mum if you've not heard this I took me mum sorry if you have um, to an exhibition and she saw a pile of clothes on the floor she walked along another pile and she says to me oh my god it looks like a bloody jumble sale those are her words not mine so i said right do me a favor mum before you do say out else go and have a look at the little thing on the wall that tells you about it bear in mind my mum was born in 1937 um so she went and read and she come back with tears in her eyes i said There you go and she went i'll never do that again never and she didn't she didn't like it she didn't have to like it it wasn't put on there to be liked and it was the survivor of Auschwitz, and it was a piece of work based on the last all the sightings within the camp and his last memories or their last memories of the parents so you know regardless of whether you like it sometimes you just need to sort of let it soak in and then you know 
not like it. Um, there's a word. Understand it. Appreciate it. Appreciate the story. Don't have to like, go like Tracy Emin in bed. You know, that was a part of her life. And that was what was going on. It's a truthful part of her life. Whether you like it or not, it's a different thing. But yeah, it's a very important part. So yeah, there's a um, little bit of art history. Do you know what, Janie? I, I thought I had. Hi, Car. Well, Janie, I had to do, I had to know a lot about artists because teaching it, you've got to, you know, you're a bit, you're responsible for students, aren't you? But it's amazing how you think you've lost it, but then suddenly something will just spark it and you go, oh, that's like such and such a thing or such and such a thing. I mean, when I first started looking at some of the futurists and all that, they were a very art deco movement and um, the other one was like the ready mate with Marcel Duchamp and he was the first one, what was it? Oh, I can't remember the proper name when it was a toilet, he put a toilet on it, urinal on the uh, show and he just, and it was just a big, oh, it's about 1900 or something or 1890 and you know everybody was like shocked, oh my god the man just put a toilet on his whatever but yeah, um, very interesting. Well, I find artists very interesting. I find the lives intriguing. Like um, the one in Cornwall. Cornwall, I was laughing at that, saying, oh, what's all this about? The light there. It's all a load of arty farty talk. What are they going on about? And then I got there, and it was like, and I was in tears. And I, that's all I can say, I was in tears. Because it just absolutely knocked me for six. It was something I could never ever describe. It was like everything was lit from both sides and underneath and top. The blue was bluer, the colours were brighter. It's like suddenly I had these glasses on and I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. And uh, I was in Barbara Hepworth's garden which is this absolutely beautiful little refuge there uh, in the middle of it, looking out onto the sea. And I just thought, I wish somebody who was loaded would, in the will, before too, before too long, leave me a little place like that, that I can go and just set up my studio and help other people. I know that's really sad, that. But yeah, I just kept thinking that. So if you ever get a chance and you're interested, go and see Barbara, Barbara Hepworth's um, sculpture garden. Because all the sculptures line up so that you can see perfect views. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, Henry Moore's garden, um, the, uh, oh, what's it called? Yorkshire Sculpture Park. That is brilliant as well. That's brilliant as well. Right, I'm going to get my bronzer needle out now. Um, I'm going to use... Not them, anyway. I'm going to use some of the big pencils that I've got. I'm so in love with these. Oh, sorry, I'm having a bit of a... I'm off oh, for crying out loud. What have you done with us? I've got them on tonight, which I can't wait to show you. Oh, 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 oh. Those are my new looks. To be do. Get in pencil heaven. Uh, 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 pencil heaven. I'm surrounded by pencils. Pencil heaven. Oops, I'm on TV, sorry. I'm not singing and done. Oh, what have I done now? Quick. No wonder if people aren't watching me anymore. They just think I'm a lunatic. Well, I know I am, but I don't need anyone else to it. So I'm going to do some quick blending. I bet they did. I bet the dancers. Get up them dancers before I hit you with a load of cod wallet. Get in. Right, I'm a bit perturbed now because I'll just show you why. My pencils are out of sync. I don't like that. Oh. Get out. Right. 
get your pencils in your hand like that. Well, get, you don't have to. I'm getting a very, right, look at that. That's shocking. Absolutely shocking. Right. Oh, that's like a Rolls Royce. Oh, ho, ho. that's a Rolls Royce. Right. I'm going to put washes. I'm not going to go mad with these because I'm putting watercolour on the top. I'm just going to put around the edge. Right. Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I'm going to show you absolutely. We've got some lessons coming up tonight. Don't worry. Uh, so, Karen, you can turn me off. You can turn the volume off. Um, but I've got some lessons tonight about pressure with pencils and how taking the pressure off will allow you to an exercise, sorry, on how to take pressure off will allow you to sort of really get the most out of your pencils. I've got some pencil blender as well from um, and it's all on, if you go to my storefront, which is on my tree. Thank you, Rachel Harris, for that. Um, my link tree. It's all on there. We've got different places you can go. I've got a storefront shop where I bought most of the things that I've got on there. There might be one or two items that I've tried other people's, but I've not got in my own stash. And I can true, truthfully... Um, show receipt <coughs> excuse me receipts of um purchases so all i'm doing now is just bringing that depth round there um and the pressure I and mean, this is the the pressure on the wash is just me it's not i'm not trying to put another color on it i'm just using one color but I'm allowing more pressure at the sides and denser there and then now there. I might change it up to um, a darker colour, but the important... Oh, I forgot. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Uh, sugar. You are my candy girl. You must do this. You must do this. Because if you don't, you get a bit lost. Because the colours don't always reflect. So I've done it on all my colour sheets for tonight. Um, oh, hey, we're doing that as well. Doing a, a few pearls and a few gems and whatnot. So it's that, and these are the pastels. So it's really handy so that I can sort of sit there and go, right, okay. I've got this zesty colour here. So I've got, I need these here. Yeah? So, and then have a trial piece next to your work. It's a really good little um, little tip. Also, keep your pencil nice and sharp because then you can get a finer edge. Um, use your pencil higher up. Don't be tempted to do that. If you do that, that's only when you want it very dark. And then as you want it lighter, you use your pencil further up. Sorry, you're going to have to excuse that burn on my finger. So here is darker. Here is lighter. So I can get a softer. Now, I've also purchased some daubers. But they're, they're not come yet. So I'm going to use one. I don't want that one. Using. Look at that. Getting results. You didn't know that, did you? Right, dark colour. Smidge of dark, not too dark. Well, this is the same colour, so I'm doing it two ways now. I'm doing that, a lighter colour, blending out. Same with watercolours. Like that. Blend it out. But, can you see the difference? More yellow-green and more green-green. 
Now, what I want to show you is, I'm going to use a grey, and this is a mid grey, so actually it's too dark, that, that's silver. So I'm going to go with this, which is a grey, which is a 703. I have written the numbers down, don't worry, they're written down there. And I'm going to do this one with a 703, just to show you how different that bit looks. And then I'll just get on to doing some colouring. I love it when I do stuff like this because I really feel that I'm sort of doing what I should be doing and that's teaching. Right, okay, now let me bring it up. Can you see? Then get me a little Oh my goodness me, how sexy is that blending? Oh, I found that. I found that with brushes. Nobody else. Darker colour again. This is too bright. Right. What I need to do is knock it back. And knocking it back. Now, to knock back red, green, use red. But in this sense, I'm going to tidy you in a minute. It's too much that. Right. I'm it for you. So, you can use a graphite or you can use a red. But the red, let me just show you a little bit. tames it down a little bit it's still too bright for me you see that's bright red dark red crimson so it's knocked it back hasn't it so there's lots of ways now this look at this dooby dooby doo you cats what's the part of me doing that you see? Right. Can you just see it a tiny bit? No, the answer is. But you do when you get enough, but you must wash them. But wait till you see my finger ones from Liz. Liz, we look as. Put me onto it, finger ones now. So I'm really giddy, really giddy. I love it when you, you have a plan and it comes together. And then I always think, because of the crap that's gone on. All the rubbish that's gone on recently about the tip jar and rubbish like that, which makes me laugh now because others are doing it. Uh, it was just an excuse that I don't want to get too happy because some kind of come along and just knock it away, so you feel a little bit vulnerable. But I'm not, I'm happy, I'm very happy with this. I'm happy with the blending, I'm happy with that like that and I can keep piling it up I can get a tortillon on it now and a tortillon is a paper stump and the paper stump allows you to get like blending but without any colour now also if you get a colourless blender oh hey oh hey oh this is a blender without anything in it oh look at that oh my god oh my god oh my god Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, look at that. That's just one colour with the blender. It's got, it's a pencil with no colour in it. That. Right, I'm just going to do half. <gasps> oh, it's... Right, I've done half. Can you see? Yeah, I'm using Zastic. These are the pencils. These are the pencils. I've got the pastels. The pastels, I've got them. I'm going to be using the... Oh, my God. Right. And you can get what they call a burnisher. And a burnisher shines it up like a photograph. So if you want shiny areas... I'm hoping to bring them at some point. Oh, look at that. Look at that shining. It's like a... Oh, oh wow. You can't see it. It's like got shine on it. It's like... Oh, I'm really happy now. Happy as a pig in poop. Look at that then. So we've got quite a heavy line around that now. 
and that's great if you want a heavy line but if I don't want a heavy line then that's a bit of a bum oh wow oh wow right see one's blended with the blender and the other one hasn't And now, can you work on it? Oh! oh, you can work over it. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Just here, these little blobs here. In love. I'm going to give it a torch on now. Oh, where have you gone? Where have you gone? These were a squid. I have got some better ones though. Where's the ones that I got tonight? Oh, a bit manky then. I need to clean them. So I've got just some really cheap ones here. Um, long fine ones. I'm just going to use them. These are fairly cheap pencils, and I don't mean cheap as in, I mean expense, not as in quality. Very impressed, very impressed with these. I've also got a rubber, there it is. Now, I've also got A white pencil. See how 3D that looks. Look at that. <gasps> right, this is a set of, I don't know how much they are, I think they're about 30 quid. You've got 70 odd in these. With the tortillons, I don't know how much they are. Um, I don't know if you can get these and you've already got them. If my advice is wash them and use one for your blending. I've got a couple of sets now because I thought it was going to be um, cost effective. I've also got the pastels. So I'm not going to use. Mm. Now I haven't got the. Oh, I haven't got the grey. So I'm going to have to go light with this, but I'll just try it on an, an, another area. So let's go here. This is a pastel now. So a pastel is like a chalk pigment. So if you think of the chalk. And you can hear it. It's got a chalk like consistency. And it blends and smudges really easily. But when you use it with a tortillon if you keep one for black only i'm in love right don't like that it's smudged i'm in love with the pastels And that bit that's on it, can you see? There, that little smidgen can be worked. Keep using the pen, uh, the tortillon, twirl it round. See, I like this because it fits in there and I've got proper control. Like, there you go, look at that. So, tonight, I'm very, very pleased to say um, I am going to just put. I don't know why I did that, why didn't I just do that? Oh no, wrong colour. See, some of these colours look black and they're not. So, there we go. If I just do that now, I know that that's my black ones. And if I do it the same with all of them. So I'm going to try this on its own. This is a pastel. 
right i haven't got a lot they didn't send me a lot tight tight tongue tongue no i'm only joking now i'm going to show you now how this helps when you're doing your your um mixed media and you want to really blend out keep moving this pencil around otherwise you'll flatten one side so keep going keep going blending out it, it gets to some people it apparently it gets to your teeth um but mine are false at the front so well i can't take them out right can you see it smudging now now you might not like that and what happens is you'll get fallout and fallout means where it, it sort of pushes onto another side but you can easily just and when you do this and if you haven't got a pencil rubber like this i know barbara sells them the lovely barbara gray from clarita i know she sells them my advice is cut a rubber really fine and use that like that so there we've got pencil blending right so that's just a black pastel now i'm going to test it what happens if i want to put this on the top oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh right this is <sighs> that's superb putting the dark on first is a game changer Rachel, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll tell you straight up on here. I would not do this unless it was worth it. Seriously. Because there's no way I'd do that to anybody. And I could quite easily message you in a bit and say don't do it. But I promise you I won't because this is so worth it. I love... don't like that. I don't like it with my finger. Because look, look I've got a mucky finger. So what's what happens now? Let's see if if you muck it up. Get your where's my, my, my flapper brush thing? Here it is. That's good to that. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with that. So I'm gonna go back in with the black. No more on on me doofer. Oh, it's easily done. Easily rectified easily done so don't use your finger you can see the difference now just going to put a little bit of dark down here oh look at that so where it's black i am over the moon with that over the moon with that reaction to it the black down first can't even see you. Come here. Get here. Come back here. The black down first. And then the green on the top. That was the other way. That was. So, I'm loving this. Uh, this is watercolour paper. Because I can go back on and I might get some more of them paper stumps. They're only a pound. They're well worth having. Um, but I'm really into the fact that I think I'll use one for greens. I haven't got enough for everyone. Let me think now. So I've got blacks, blues. I want a white, that big white one. Black and white, yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red, blue. A mix. You can see these are a squid. These are a pound. I've got all different knobs, uh, ends. Six in a pack. I've got them from Hobbycraft. Um, cards recyclable, bag isn't yet, but you get six for a pound. Okay. So let's get back to this now because I'm I'm on a I'm on a roll. So my now I have realised that my colouring or shading or blending is far better pastels first now i know that 
and in my element i'm going to change up the color a bit now because i think we should sort of go from another color in now let's see transitionally this should be really difficult to do because we're going from a dark green to a light green so let's see what happens um if we can do it i'm not going to put any dark black on yet i'm just going to get the transitional colors going so So the first thing I'm going to do is just blend it into the colours that I've done all that work on there. So that's the first thing I want to do. Now, I know that that is going to be difficult. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, no, it isn't. Darken this up here. Remember, I mean, I'm used to it now, but if you don't want much force on your pencil, use it all the way up here. I want it to disappear. So over here, let's go for a little walk. Right, this is green pastel. Okay, so where's my green end there? Right, so I'm mixing a bit of pastel and a bit of pencil to see what happens and if we can get that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Lovely. Right, some of you, I see you do little circles. That's cool if that's what you want to do. I do crisscrosses and all sorts of lines, but the, 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 the whole moral of the story is do it in a way that is, it's all to do with pressure. It's like layers of pressure. You don't have to do it all at once. And if you do do it all at once, you just fill in the paper, the little teeth in the paper, and it ruins it. This is going to be stunning, this. Having so much fun doing it. So you can see I've got a transitional colour now coming from, I've created like a zesty lime colour um, with it there. It's the same colour, zesty lime. Then we've gone to um, a green, yellow green, um, more of an olive coming through here. And now we're going to more of a, an emeraldy or a leaf green. Oh, so I've also got a green a light green pastel now that will allow me to blend in on top oh look at that Look at that. Both of them on top of each other to blend. That's a game changer. Putting the two together is a total game changer for me. Absolutely. I want this to look. Ah, uh, they get to time when you can't fill any more because you're filling all the holes with pigment colour from your pencils but you can put a little bit of the pastel and the chalk that doesn't sink in one place will be transferred to another you'll see now I can't get a lot of that on so my advice was oh I can there can you see let me just move it can you see and there wasn't a lot of pigment so it's like allowed the pastel to go in so anywhere there's less pencil the pigment will show up uh, let's see what I can do with this now. Oh, oh, beautiful. It's making it really dark. I'll show you it looks a bit naff at the moment. And again, the colour on the stick. I'm a tortillon. Right, what I'm going to do is just show you how I'm going to clean this up now. 
so I've got my pencil rubber whatever you want to use you don't have to use anything special like this you can use good old rubber just cut it at slant and keep it sharpened and cleaned so I'm just cleaning up all the edges and then that way it's super detailed oh, I'm, ha I'm really happy and bear in mind I'm using watercolour paper but I can use look at that now can you see the shading I'll burnish it a little bit and see what we get or blend it sorry Oh no no I don't do that with your finger you silly woman. Um, you get I get used to it. Oh, get them back here. Come here. I'm in the element here. Well, I'm dropping everything. I'm happy with that. I'm so happy with. I don't like that bit. It's gone a bit chunky now. So what I'm going to do is just really darken that now. And I'm going to go back in and this is where you will go if you want to you can go back in with a very dark color just be careful of black you know I don't like to use it a lot but there's times when you can use it to get the definition that you want but not a lot of it and then I'm going to use the party on where's my green one go green green Green. There we go. Then I get my black. Where's the black one go? And then what I could do. You won't see it here, but you could just put the white on it to really clean the edge up. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. So I have done a really simple design, but the the emphasis has been on the, the products today about layering and how, how, you know, even if you don't want to use paint, you can get loads of satisfaction from using colouring pencils uh, even the the watercolour brushes or the felt tip style ones they're not felt tips but if you you sort of start to use them as paint you you get a tremendous amount of satisfaction and usage out of them because they're not just used for one thing anymore you you're getting plenty of uses out of them um, adding them to other like we've just done we've just done all this area now using pastels using blender tools using tortillons using the colors in different ways layering so i've got that on top there which I quite like just layering it out a little bit use your brush um, and sorry use your pencil any way that you choose little circles but only as a blending tool when you first start to lay it down put it in, in in the the way sort of light to dark layers so it's rep repetitive repetitive it's just even you think there's nothing going on there but there is keep your colors clean that's another important thing because you'll find that if you don't you'll contaminate colors like this here now you can get a hem emery board and clean it but if that gets monkey ma now get a piece of paper Manky means dirty, dirty, sorry, not dirty. Clean it off. So now it's cleaner than it was, and then we can get back to blending. Now, if I wanted to, I could. Where's the other set gone? Oh, right in front of me. You could get the white pencil. And just blend in now 
this way to make it look like three dimensional. I have two whites. Well, I have three. I have a Karen Dash, a Polychromo, Prisma, and for I mean, there we go. Can you see how that's lightened it all now? So the white will stay white. It's a nice blend that. It could even take a tiny bit more. I might. When I'm blending, I tend to make sure that I've got all the colours. Like this one is a great colour. This one is more of an olive. Um, let me see if I can show you on here. These are more of your... Your darker ones. You could even use like your greys. Or your browns would look nice on this. It would warm it up. So then I just get... I'll just do one and see what you think. See if there's any effect for you, or if you like it, if you don't like it. I'll do one with the dark green. Like that, one with the dark green. And then I'll do one with the dark blue indigo grey whatever colour I turn to this it's like a Prussian blue a lot and then go back to your clean it No, oh, it's a wrong, 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 you banana red. Right, so you can see, let me just pull that up now. There's not a lot of difference, but that's a little bit cooler. So you can just see. Yeah, oh, that's a little bit cooler. Now, I'm not trying to make everything look three-dimensional. I'm just trying to get a colour blend. And I'm trying to make it so that you can sort of do all this with your pencils, your colouring pencils, your um pastels which you've got to get it's watercolor pencils which we've got on tonight and um, we've also got let me just see what else we've got we've got a wonderful toned paper now i am over the moon with this toned paper because it looks stunning i did some like those glass bead things then i did some pearls then i did some gem things and then i did swatches of them all Everything that's on the show, I wanted to see what it looked like on the tonal paper, and I'm very, very, very happy with it. Um, I've got more to do, things to colour in, things to show blending. Um, I've got the fine liner brush pens, which I'm going to do some little tricks with. I've got the little ones, which I'm up, I hope they're on the show. I got these from someone else, didn't get them from them. Um, I've got my sketchbook. I mean, over three sketchbooks from Secure and Art by, um, sorry, Talons um, Art Creations, Dunzio, Dunzio, Secure. Got my tone paper colours. So yeah, there's going to be a great night for colouring tonight, um, and it's a great night for like learning how to put on. Oh, get back in there. Um, Learning to put all the colours together. I wonder if that, where's that pencil gone? I'm losing, uh, there. Um, putting all the colours together. Maybe that would never do, do they? Um, you, how to use your tartions or whatever. I'm going to be working on brown craft cards. Oh, also, I forgot to show you. You can use, yeah, um, Emma said it before. Um, you can also use your zest it. My Jane, you're the one that can draw. Right now, 
it, I don't think I've got enough on there, but I'm just going to see. Oh, look at that. Now, you will get residue on the paper because it's like an oil, but it dries off. Look at that. Now, be careful with your ink on the paper, though. Now, that sort of oil look will dry. See? I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. So I'm going to see if I can come up with a... I can't use that tonight, but I'll stick some on it. But I'm going to see if I can come up with a recipe if you haven't got zest it. But I would really, 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 hand on art, um, say that it is an investment. And it's not an expensive investment, but it is an investment and it's a good investment to get yourself decent, even if it's a squid a big makeup broom brush to do that because your hand look at my hands of anchor get yourself some of these as well your tortillons tonight you will see a huge difference in your work and i wouldn't say that unless i really meant it i, re I really wouldn't because what's the point i'd lose my integrity it's the one thing i've got left i hope i am using burnishes and blenders very different one gives like a, a varnish finish the other one to give it a shine and the other one blends it's like colourless stuff it's colourless pencil crayon so if you think of the stuff that's in your pencil crayon without colour and they also have extra whites so i use the white in the set i have a white watercolour i have um a white which is this one is the polychromo faber castell i've got a karen dash one i mean that's two quid on its own that white pencil so you think what you're getting you're getting 72 for all that get yourself a decent rubber and a good good pencil sharpener you can get a cheap one, I understand that, but if you get a cheap one, you can't have different size tips. That you've got different time size tips. So we'll be using pens tonight as well. Um hopefully. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna put some I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna carry on with it tonight. I hope that you enjoyed that. I flipping loved it. Flipping loved it. So I'm gonna do some more stuff ready for tonight. I'm looking forward to it. I'll have, I'll have a bath before the show. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll have me ablutions. I had one last night, but I'll have another one, I think. Just that's it, full cough into the wind. Yeah. I think I'm, a bit, I think I'm um, born in the wrong time, Victorian times. Anyway, joking aside, thanks again for your support. I won't see you tomorrow or the next day, unless you're on... The craft store at 12 tomorrow i'll see you there then i won't see you on monday because i'm getting ready for the show but i'll see you tuesday at 12 on the craft store and then i'll be back on wednesday with your mindful noodles um and the rest will do you good the re you know the rest of me so take care i'm going to do this properly one day look at that burn i'll have to put plaster on it Thank you very much. Thank you. Not that. Oh, it's that, in it. It's not that. Sorry. Sorry. It's that, in it. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It's that piece. Oh, I'm going. I'm going.